So in this episode, you guys got to do two really cool tanks. For the FDU tank, they wanted flames. First thing you see is this spectacular fish tank. And it just screams school spirit. Let me tell you, it wasn't that easy. Uh, it took multiple tests. What do you guys think of Robert's interpretation of what the fire should be? Oh! All right, oh, that's definitely not going to work. Well, I think it was really between Robert and your dad. I don't think either one knew what it was about. We wanted to have flames. Your dad had smoke. It wasn't, it wasn't really a good idea. I think with the cloth that we did and the light and the fan, I think it was the best. The problem thing. is, is daddy's got ideas from 1920, <laughs> and Redneck's got Backwoods ideas. I'm surprised they didn't blow up the building. We're meeting with David, Raphael, and Janet of Debar J Hat Company. Hey, Johnson. Johnson. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Debar J handcrafts custom hats of all shapes and sizes. What did you guys think of the Debar J people? Well, it was kind of like out of like an old, Western. I felt like it was an old Western, Western movie. Like, yeah. you know, you walk in like a saloon and, and there were these people dancing with like old kind of fashion dresses on. You know what was really cool? It was really interesting learning about the hats, how they made them from scratch, they stretch them, those old, old machines. And you know what? I thought that part was really cool. I like that part. What are we missing? Cowboy hat. There you go. That only leaves Cowboy one thing. Hat. Come on, dude. No. A redneck Robert doesn't give up his hat for anything, but he knew we needed a cowboy hat in there. Definitely to finish the tank off. You know what? He took one for the team. I think he wanted to give it up. That hat was old and raggedy. He was looking forward to getting a new one. What are you kidding me? Don't put it past him. He ain't no dummy. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the first time that I showed a client their tank, and they were so happy that they started dancing. Did you guys learn any dance moves at the hat party? Absolutely. <laughs> What do you think, huh? Huh? I'd sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, I'm looking for the uh, black bag that the ribbon came in. The stage house said it was here. Oh, it's for the wrap. I think there's a black bag right over here. Over here? Where? Yes, this is it. OK, great. Thank you, brother. Brett actually was hustling a little bit. He, he was, he was sweating he, bullets. He was breaking his sweat looking, Ooh, looking for the now. ribbon to go around. Uh -huh. he, you had to see he was cursing in, in the car. Come on, let's go, beeping the horn. Uh -uh. The New Yorker was coming out. It was. <laughs> We're here installing an aquarium for your student center. They brought me in today to uh, give you guys some advice about small businesses. So, Brett, how'd your lecture at FDU go? Went really well. Did a great job. Those poor kids are probably dumber after listening to your lecture. That's probably the longest you've been in a classroom. Probably. And you know what? If they're dumber, so be it. 